relationships relationships Amos chapter 3 and verse 3 let's hurry up please is God speaking to us tonight the third key that activates this grace called favor is called relationships can two walk together except they be agreed the word agreed there means compatible your degree of agreeableness can two walk together two companies two individuals a couple can two walk together except they be agreed listen the command be fruitful also means be relational because everything becomes fruitful on the basis of relationship is that true the relationship between a husband and his wife is how children come a relationship between you and the holy spirit is how the anointing comes the relationship between you and the word is how understanding comes everything multiplies on the basis of relationships if you do not understand relationships you will spend your lifetime paying for it what are relationships I've talked a bit on this advantageous connections relationships are advantageous connections for instance when an armed robber comes to you and points a gun he's close to you but you are not in a relationship because it's not an advantageous connection he came to steal he came to kill he came to destroy relationships are advantageous connections and listen there is an intelligence that has to do with managing relationships many Christians do not understand the power of relationships this is where respectfully speaking unbelievers have seemed to have an edge over believers you may have heard me say it in my teachings please look at me what will make a man fly a private jet from one nation and go to another nation to celebrate the two-year-old birthday of a billionaire's child is the child the man's friend what is he doing in that house such a busy man will leave everything and come and invest his time you see him play someone that does not like children by default everybody knows he doesn't like children now all of a sudden because you see adaptation is proof of honor you have to be able to adapt and he's playing and the man looks at him and says look I'm looking for a team of five people that I'll commit to be regional directors of my company and now that you have come I trust you relationships it is dangerous for you to not have strategic relationships let me give you an advice obtain grace from God to build relationships um, I have a I have a teaching on that I've not taught it in Abuja but there is a very powerful teaching that that I will I will talk a bit on relationships the moment God lifts you the first thing to do with your lifting is to use it as a leverage to build relationships forget about acquisition acquisition is tertiary the primary goal of lifting use it quickly because according to the law of times and seasons it will not always be like that so the moment God gives you a window of opportunity trap your lifting with relationships your relationships will keep you afloat are we learning yes sir. relationships relationships the primary relationship being your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ your relationship with the Holy Spirit your relationship with the Word of God but your relationship with strategic helpers we live today in evil times and I'm praying for you may you have relationships with the police may you have relationships with the judicial system may you have relationships with economically empowered people may you also have relationship with those you call non-entities because the day of their relevance according to the law of time and chance is coming listen do not only have relationship with people who have risen you've seen their future already those who are rising are more powerful than those who have risen the bible says it does not yet appear what we shall be like can i tell you this if you were not there for people at their state of infancy don't expect to be invited at the table of greatness when they arrive there they only remember who helped them rise relationships strategic connections 
Don't look for wealthy and blessed people alone. Many of us, our relationship is just for wealthy. It's, it's, a, it's already clearly, it suggests that it's a parasitic relationship. Some of us see some of these are young ones, these small children come, you push them around. I want to see Joshua Selman. And you've pushed the next prophet without knowing. This is why it's good to show honor to all men. Those above you, your contemporaries, and those supposedly below you. Relationships. Hallelujah. Please look up. Let me challenge you. Is there someone in your life today that you can actually pick the call and call him or her and say, please, I am in need of a financial situation. Help me. Not borrow me. Help me. And the person will say, I love you too much. Our relationship is so strong. I have a commitment to you. If you don't have such a person in your life, you are in trouble. Listen. Is there someone in your life today you can call and with one dial, no matter how busy he can pick. Apostle, people don't like me. No. If the problem is everybody, the problem is you. Mm. Nobody will just invest time like that. Relationship is an investment. Don't expect returns if you did not invest. Don't give people two minutes of your time with 10 years worth of trouble and expect them to remain with you. No, sir. When people do not perceive you to be an advantage to their lives and their destinies, they will love you, but they will put you in a group quietly and leave you there. I pray for you. You pray for me. I love you. I need you to survive. I won't harm you with words from my mouth. I love you. I need you to survive. It is His will that every need be supplied. You are important to me. Listen. Don't allow circumstances choose your relationships. Allow the Holy Spirit in partnership with your mind and your wisdom to choose your relationships. Many of us have not, have not been intentional about choosing relationships. Godly people, visionary people, people of excellence, people who love you sincerely in life and in death. I know a man, true story, his house got burnt. And before he arrived there, the friend had gotten a place and moved the children and a few things they could recover there. Relationships. Is there someone in your life today that you can call by 2, 3 a.m. and say there is an attack? My wife is having an attack. My children are having an attack. I'm not in Nigeria. And the person can say in 10 minutes I'm in your house. Listen, I'm, I'm giving you a wisdom key. If you, no matter how blessed you are, a day will come. You will see that you cannot solve every problem by yourself. And woe betides the man who is alone in the presence of challenges. Even Jesus, your Jesus, when he was on his way to Golgotha, he got to a point where he was weak, he had lost blood. The Bible says he fell there with the cross. There needed to be a man who volunteered and said, I will hold the cross for him. I've taught you the ministry of destiny helpers. And I've taught you these four categories of people you need in your life. Let me do a one minute recap in case you were not here or you've forgotten. Number one, that when it has to do with relationships, destiny helpers, you need divine connectors. They can't help you, but they know who can help you and they can connect you to that person. Number two, you need men of influence. They are willing to invest their credibility and their track record to help you rise. Number three, you need gifted people, the men and women who produce results. Sometimes you need more than kindness, you need results. And then number four, burden bearers. The assignment of a burden bearer is not to move you forward. They are the ones who stop you from going backward. 
If you do not have these four categories of people in your life, you are in trouble. If you have to pay for everything by yourself, you are in trouble, even if you are blessed. A day will come, money cannot buy anything. You will need the hearts of men. Somebody must believe in you enough to stake their lives. You cannot be a general friend to everybody. Somebody must see you and keep you in the holy of holies of their hearts. And say, let me not hear that this woman has a headache or a headache, not when I'm alive. Can anybody make that kind of statement and say, look, no matter what it is, you can count on me. Respectfully speaking, there are many CEOs, politicians, even preachers who spend their lives serving people and serving the needs of people, but they did not build relationships. And in old age, you see many angry and lonely people. Sometimes when I see elderly people lonely, I ask questions. Did they ever have children? They worked in the secular job for 30 years and 35 years. We were concerned about promotion not relationships. Now you retire and every relationship goes. If people respect you just because of title, you are in trouble. They must love you beyond titles and be knitted like David and Jonathan. A good place to pray before we finish up. Can you again lay your hands on your head and say, Father, connect me to strategic relationships even in this season. First, oh God, make me one who is worth being friends with. Life will be hard. You are a man of God. Listen to me. No matter the call of God upon your life, you will depend on strategic relationships to rise. Go ahead. Are you praying? Please pray. Please pray. You came to church. You need a friend that sticks closer than a brother. You need men that can stand for you and say, under my watch, your children will never beg for bread, not when I'm alive. How big he worshiping all of the days of my life. I'll be here worshiping all of the days of my life. I'll be here helping you all of the days of my life. I'll be here helping you all of the days of my life for you. There is an anointing for influence and visibility. You can do all you can and your generation will not know you are there. But there is an unction that can come upon you and cause your voice to be heard. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice and for those who are following and connecting by faith. For some of you, this anointing, you will literally feel something physically coming on you as I'm praying. In the name of Apatah Sakataba, the grace for visibility right now, right now may that unction come upon you may that unction come back may that grace come upon you let me pray for everyone here who is part of this spiritual family and you are into politics and governance the grace that enthrones in the name of jesus the son of the living god may that unction rest upon you right now marvelously rest upon you right now hear me when it has to do with wealth and abundance there are principles of productivity value exchange increase relationships negotiations and all these are valid financial principles but there is a prophetic dimension to wealth there is wealth that comes from heaven 
He said, by this time, tomorrow, I want to pray for you. Because for many people and many families, this is the area of engracing. Things have been tied in your life. I want you to believe it. Don't let the devil tell you that there is no prophetic dimension to wealth. And by a prophet, the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, they were preserved. I pray for you. Everyone who is in Egypt financially, hear the word of the Lord. I prophesy to you, come out now. Come out now. Come out now.